Uh, welcome or welcome back on any help at Cisco. In this example, we need to sketch a graph of this uh, rational function. And the first thing I notice, this rational function has two polynomials, a numerator and a non-numerator, that can be factorial. So sometimes you want to do that. So let's take a look. Uh, the factor form of 3x squared minus 3x is 3x times x minus 1 using the GCF technique. And the factor form of the denominator will be two numbers whose product is negative 12 and the sum is 1, that will be uh, positive 4 and negative 3. So this is the factor 4. Now we're looking and we cannot simplify. Uh, that is the reason you want to do uh, this step first. If you can simplify, then you have what is called holes in the graph. We don't have any holes here in this case. So now we can move to part A and find the domain. Take the denominator, x plus 4 times x minus 3, make that equals to 0. And since we already have the factor form, we can make each factor equals to 0. So this factor, the x plus 4 equals 0, is give us x equals negative 4. And the second one, x minus 3 equals 0, is giving us x equals 3. The domain is any real number but positive 3 and negative 4. Let's move to, so we finish with the domain, we can go to asymptotes. And we're going to start with uh, vertical asymptotes. For vertical asymptotes, we need to take the denominator, x minus 4, I'm sorry, x plus 4, times x minus 3, and set it up equals to 0. We're going to get the same solution like in part A, x equals negative 4 x equals positive 3. The only difference, don't cross the equal sign, these are the asymptotes. So draw them on your graph. x equals negative 4, this horizontal vertical line, I'm sorry, and x equals negative 3, another one right here. Now we can move to part C and get the um, horizontal asymptote. For the horizontal asymptotes, we're going to have to look to the take a look to the degree of the numerator, which is two, and the denominator two. They are the same, so we do have a horizontal asymptote, which is nothing else than the quotient of the leading coefficient three here and the invisible one here, three over one. So that asymptote is three, which is this line. I'm going to draw it right now. Now, because I mentioned horizontal asymptote, sometimes you want to take a look and see if that horizontal asymptote is crossed. So that means make the function equals to 3, right, that horizontal asymptote, and solve it and see if you get a value for x. If you get, uh, then uh, that horizontal asymptote is crossed. So in this case, we have this equation. I'm going to cross multiply and I get 3x squared plus 3x minus 36 equals 3x squared minus 3x. The first thing I notice is this 3x squared on both sides, so we can cross them like this. And then I will add 3x because I'm going to solve for x. And I have here 6x. And I'm going to add 36 to move the 36 on the other side. And I get 6x equals 36, which is going to give me x equals 6. This is the moment where this horizontal asymptote y equals 3 is crossed, so which is right here. So I'm going to need to be sure I'm going to cross that horizontal asymptote right there. So we finish with domain and asymptote. Like I said, no holes we can move to. Uh, the next part, which is uh, intercepts and more points, uh, so we can get a good sketch of this graph. And you remember, for the intercept, we have two intercepts. We have an x intercept. We have x intercepts and only one y intercept. So. Let's start with the y-intercept. Like I said, it's only one always, because it's a function. 
we find that one by making x equal 0. So in this case, f of 0 will be 3 times 0 squared minus 3 times 0 over whatever, whatever is 0 squared plus uh, 0 minus the. Why do I say over whatever? Because the top of the fraction will be 0. So it doesn't matter what is down here, which will be negative 12 because it's still 0. So we have a y-intercept of 0 and 0, and that will also be an x-intercept. Right? This origin can be both. And now let's move to the next thing, which is the, like I said, the uh, uh, x-intercepts. For the x-intercepts, we're going to make y equals 0 or the function equals to 0. So we have 0 equals 3x squared minus 3x over x squared plus x minus 12. When is this uh, equals to 0? When the numerator 3x squared minus 3x equals to 0. And if you remember, we already had the factor form. I erase it. 3x times x minus 1 equals 0. And that one will give us the two zeros, one, one x equals zero, which we expected from this guy, right? So we have zero and zero. And one we have x minus one equals zero, which is giving us x equals one, one and zero. So we have these two um, x intercepts. So let me put this one. So now looking here, we really need more points in order to know how the least graph looks like. So allow me to erase more stuff here. And for that reason, we're going to pick some points in each area of the graph. We're going to pick an x that is less than negative 4, an x that is greater than 3, and some x is between negative 4 and positive 3, because you want to see how the graph looks like. So let's start with um, a number less than negative 4, like x equals negative 5. And we're going to plug it in. And the goal here is to see, is this value of the function more than 3 or less than 3? And if you ask yourself why I pick that 3, remember that 3 is the uh, horizontal asymptote. Okay, so we have here a negative 5 squared plus negative 5 minus 12. So let's see if we can do that math. That is negative 5 squared is positive 25. That times 3, that it will be 75 plus 15. And the denominator will be positive 25 minus 5 minus 12. Just looking to this guy, I notice is more than... 3. So when x equals 5, which is right here, I'm going to get a value that is more than 3. So that should tell you the graph is going to go something like this. Now I'm going to go over a number that is greater than 3. So I'm going to go 4. Okay, so that 4 is going to tell me what's happening in this area. It is on top of the horizontal asymptote around the bottom. So we're going to have f of 4 and we're going to have 3 times uh, 4 squared minus 3 times 4 over um, 4 squared plus 4 minus 12. So 4 squared is 16 times 3, 48, 48 minus 12. And here the denominator 16 plus 4 minus 12. So that will be 36 over uh, 8. 8. So you notice this number is more than 3. So kind of similar of the other side. The graph will be on top. And it is going to cross the Horizontal asymptote right here, right? And then it's going to go asymptotic. 
that horizontal asymptote. Um, we have uh, to see what's happening in the middle. So for that reason, I'm going to pick right here in the middle. I'm going to pick two numbers, one close to negative 4, so that will be negative 3.9. And I'm going to evaluate, or I'll, in fact, I'm going to see if it's a positive or a negative number. So I'm going to have 3 times negative 3.9 squared minus 3 times negative 3.9 over negative 3.9 squared plus negative 3.9 minus 12. If, if I evaluate this guy, then notice this is a number that is less than 0. That tells me this graph comes from down here. And let's see now what's happened when the, the x is close to positive 3 from this side. So we're going to say 2.9. That will be 3 times 2.9 squared minus 3 times 2.9 over 2.9 squared plus 2.9 minus 12. Another one that will be less than 0. So now I know how the graph is going to come that from down here. Is going to cross here and it has to turn somewhere to, to, to cross again and then it's going to go asymptotic down here and uh, that's the graph of this rational function we can see a better graph in my next slide and you notice there are some steps to be done in order to get the graph for this uh, rational function uh, this is the uh, graph and uh, you notice all those uh, features I said, and here I kind of zoom in to see how this graph cross at zero cross of one at in that area. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more.